In this video, we're going to you guys the worst, the best Maki in Shindo life. Now, there actually has been a new Maki in the most recent update. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It is on the showcase on my channel. But yeah, this bloodline is actually really, really, really cool. And I do think the Makis are one of the uh, most unique set of bloodlines in the game because each of them have their own variety of abilities, things like that. Also, of course, there has been some buffs and some nerfs and things like that. So, of course, I had to bring out this tier list for you guys. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that like, subscribe, let's go right to the video, guys. All right, so coming in as the worst Maki in fifth place is going to be Jeremaki now of course guys this is because jeremaki i do feel like the jeremaki uh it has needed some buffs for a really long time now i'm not saying that because it's my own bloodline or things like that i i think that everyone that has ever used this bloodline can agree with me the mode drain is way too high i do think it should be like 25 also these m1s right here i feel like these m1s definitely should not knock them back and even if you do want to m1 them look how far it knocks them back i think it's because they it does two m1s in a sequence so it knocks it back super insanely far so I do actually think if these M1s were removed, that this bloodline would actually be better, which is kind of crazy to consider, you know, buffed M1s, but I do think if they reduce the damage that it did, maybe like 6,000 hit and just completely remove the knockback from it, this mode would be a lot better, not to mention that the mode rate is actually really, really high. But let's get into the abilities here. The first ability is going to be a stun ability. It doesn't last that long. It lasts enough to do one M1 combo sequence. Definitely think the stun time should be higher, but the move, you know, in general, it's okay. Now the hair grab move, I actually find this move super inconsistent. Not only that, but sometimes it does break their character and they could like fly backwards and things like that, which is pretty funny, all things considered, but it's not funny when you're trying to fight someone. But in the end of things, those two moves are not that great, but they don't even compare to how bad this move is. This frog move has like 10 hand signs. It obviously doesn't have 10 hand signs. And the startup time on the move itself takes like 10 years. So this move is like actually impossible to use in any serious scenario in this game. I can say this for a fact, and I've actually used Jeremaki quite a bit that I have never hit that move on anyone that has known to hold the right mouse button. So if they even touch the right mouse button, if they even know how to block, you will never hit this move. It's just really bad. Now, the mode abilities are actually quite good. I think that's the reason why people use Jeremaki now. The mode abilities are actually quite good. They do, they can get you out of fights to do a bit of damage. It does have a form of an auto dodge and things like that. So, you know, the mode is good besides those M1s in the mode drain. But Jeremaki is just going to be the worst just because of all those things I listed. It's, it's just not that good in all honesty hey you yeah you have you remembered to hit the like button on the video yet if you haven't already go ahead and do it and coming in fourth place is going to be sixth place six path naramaki now i know this one may make a lot of people sad just because of how cool the bloodline is and i do agree six path naramaki is by far one of the coolest bloods in the game i mean like the range of boys and things like that they're very very cool concepts but the actual bloodline itself does have some issues, but I feel like with some slight changes, this bloodline could be as good as probably the devs intended it to be. Now, the first ability here is going to be a Rasengan. It does go like this. I do feel like the hand size a little bit much. Also, there is a gap. As you guys can see, there was a small period of time right there that he could move around. During that time period, you could instant move out, and it literally will not hit you at all. So if you'd like something like Spirit Smash, Ever Entry, it won't hit you, and then you will not get into air combo. The second ability is okay as it is. I do feel like the second ability is fine. It's a combo ender. It's just good as it is now the third ability i do feel like the third ability is the best ability of six path Naramaki, but it definitely needs taken off the stun global cooldown um i do know why it was put on there because forge first was put on there and it looks like it uses a similar script but i do feel like forge first and that ability need taken off the stun global cooldown immediately otherwise literally nobody will use that but it is the best ability and i actually have used it but that is just because i'm crazy you know but yeah like i said the first ability i feel like the startup time should definitely be lessened the hand size should be lessened but there is a tiny gap you can see right there he moves around a tiny bit during the combo um there is a small gap it's like a 0.5 second gap where they can instant move out because i have done it to someone before now for the mode itself it does give you quite a bit of stats but the mode drain is kind of a lot it's 45 a second it may not seem like a lot but it's a lot for shindo life i think the c spec is honestly fine i think less startup time would be great but it does do 80,000 damage and block breaks and has really really good auto tracking so i feel like it's fine as it is it's a really really good c spec i do think people will end up using it but less startup time will kind of move it closer to the top then obviously you have a web spec here i think this web spec is also fine it, it does block bypass it ragdolls it's a very small ragdoll stud but i feel like any changes will make it busted so just looking at six path naramaki from the way that i just showed you i do feel like this bloodline with some slight buffs could end up actually being number one but as it stands right now it is
it is better than Jaramaki, so you know, that's good at least, right? Now coming to third place is going to be Naramaki. Now the reason why Naramaki is going to rank this high, I am one of the people that feel like Naramaki is very okay as a bloodline. I mean, obviously it does have some faults. The C-Spec actually glitches you out of the map a lot. And it's a lot more than you would probably think. It does do it a lot, but it does have perfect on tracking. It's a good ability overall. You obviously have the second ability here. It is a block break. I do feel like this ability, like I feel like Naramaki, I feel like people kind of give it too much crap. I do think that this bloodline is okay. I actually do use the bloodline myself sometimes. So I kind of have a general no knowledge of the bloodline being okay and decent because, you know, I beat quite a bit of people with Naramaki itself. But I do feel like Naramaki is, it's okay as a KG. Hence why it's going to be at the middle of this list. I do feel like it does have some faults. Like the first ability AOE is like impossible to know. Like where you're going to hit. It's literally impossible to know where you're going to hit because the AOE is so tidy that like you could cast this ability it'd be like this far for someone and it will not hit them i feel like this should make a more consistent way to hit the ability also with the second ability here it is a block break ability it also dashes afterwards i think the ability is fine after taking off the global cooldown it's not any global cooldown anymore so i do feel like the ability is okay i mean the people that hate on it uh it, it is what it is man also the third ability it has insanely fast startup but you you do have the ability to avoid the ability so but in general normaki i'd like to say it it's perfect where it is it's not the rarest bloodline in the entire game and, and I, I just feel like it's okay. You know, it's very usable. It's fun to use. It has a lot of really, really cool abilities. And it's not overly busted to the point of it being super broken. So I feel like it's just in a really good spot right now. Third place kind of fits Normaki, you know? And this is the uh, skid version, if you guys don't know. Now coming to second place, it's going to be Boromaki. And no, it's not because of the third mode of Boromaki. I do think the third mode of Boromaki isn't that great overall. But it's really good that they added it because it gives people more versatility for the bloodline itself. The main reason why Boromaki is so good is because, first of all, the, the first ability, Strong Breaks stronger block it also does 60,000 damage in mode and it's impossible to avoid if they click on you but it's also impossible to combo with unless they're blocking because if they're blocking they obviously get stunned as you guys probably know now the reason why boromaki is going to rank this high is the second ability is actually a replacement for any pool move in the game as you guys probably know every single pool move in the game was put on the stun global cooldown besides this one this one is on the auto dodge global cooldown also that ability actually makes portals that you can teleport to for far away but yeah this ability is like the ultimate replacement for your pool in your m1 combo so i do think that a lot of people after this video will probably use that ability and uh yeah i'm pretty expecting it also the third ability here i would not say it's the greatest in the game but it actually is pretty good at zoning i mean you're able to charge your chi if you get this ability off there's really, really like nothing they can do against you so you can just charge your chi c spec actually puts their abilities on cooldown it's the only ability in the entire game that does that so that's pretty cool and then obviously you have a weapon spec here yeah it just throws a second at them so like i said boromaki it's not crazy overpowered but it can serve as a replacement for your m1 combos with this pull ability also pulls dead bodies so that's pretty funny and uh, yeah yeah, it does just have a high damage output anyways by the way guys what is your favorite maki in shindo life feel free to tell me in the comments below so coming to first place is going to be kamaki now you guys probably know why kamaki's in first it is by far the best maki in the entire game so it does have a first and a second mode i do think that the first mode is better so i'm just going to stick in the first mode but it does have that second mode in case you guys don't like the first one but the reason why kamaki is the best is because the first ability of kamaki is literally just a better boromaki first so it does block bypass i can't actually start your copies with it like that so i do feel like the first ability is really really good it's kind of the ability that a lot of people use from kamaki itself also the second ability of kamaki here the cubes actually doubles as a breakaway so if you actually knock them super far away like this i'm just gonna throw my cubes randomly around they do lots of damage as well they do 30,000 a cube in mode so that's actually quite good also the yeah those animations were a little bit buggy weren't they you could actually teleport to the cubes mid combo so you could be being attacked by someone and then just straight up teleport away with these cubes now the only downside is that it drains quite a bit of chi to do this but it can actually be a replacement for an auto dodge if you do not have one or in case you just don't want to auto dodge in your kit now the third ability here the third ability is going to be these this ability that spawns a cube above your head a cube right here you know you can teleport to them it also doubles down as an auto dodge you can make a portal if you click away from someone it's an okay ability overall but it's not really the ability that people use and then obviously you have the c-spec here it's really good for boss grinding it does a decent amount of damage to people and then the weapon spec is going to be a beam now the second mode the c-spec is going to be a counter i'm not going to bother show you guys that because it's not that good but yeah kamaki in general it's just it's it's very okay and it was going to be for this video if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like for more guys bye bye